Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. In Top Stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. Good news for those who love to travel to Mount Charleston. The effort to rebuild the Mount Charleston Lodge destroyed in a fire last fall is underway. Review Journal's Renee Summerauer has more from the lodge's owners. Renee? Jen, in a statement released Monday, the lodge's owners said final demolition cleanup has started at the site, which is set to be completed by the end of March. Christina Ellis, general manager of Ellis Island Hotel, Casino and Brewery, the Ellis family owns the lodge and restaurant, said in a statement, quote, please stay tuned for the announcements and renderings of the new Mount Charleston Lodge. We are excited to embark on the next step towards resurrecting a new landmark for generations to come. As you all know, an accidental fire destroyed the lodge restaurant on September 17th, leaving rubble in place of the iconic A-framed restaurant. No one was injured. The former lodge was built in 1962, though another structure operated there from at least 1948 before it was destroyed in a 1961 fire. Officials had said they intend to keep the traditional A-frame, but update some of the facilities. The lodge's neighboring 23 cabins were unaffected by the fire and remain open. Jen. In other news, a Russian oligarch is indicted on charges of funneling illegal money to U.S. political candidates, including two here in Nevada. He's accused of plotting to funnel a million dollars in donations to obtain marijuana business licenses in Nevada and elsewhere. In 2018, his associates gave $10,000 each to Adam Laxalt, who was running for governor, and Wesley Duncan, who was running for attorney general. Those donations were later returned. The Justice Department says he remains at large, believed to be somewhere in Russia. Over in Summerlin, a driver dies in a rollover crash. The Nevada Highway Patrol says the driver of a red Chevy pickup failed to slow down on Summerlin Parkway, swerved and was ejected as the pickup rolled over yesterday. The driver was not wearing a seatbelt and was pronounced dead at the scene. In Business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. A new book offers insight into the life and death of Tony Shea. Two reporters from the Wall Street Journal wrote, Happy at any cost. They say the former Zappo CEO neglected his well-being in his search for happiness. So the authors thought that Tony Shea's story was a really strong example of the stigma of mental health. They also pointed out that many friends and family wanted to make sure that his legacy was intact, that he was more than his poor mental health at the end of his life and the troubles that he had in his last year. His legacy was beyond that. It was everything he did in the tech industry and in development in Las Vegas and beyond. Happy at any cost is available today. And what are the weirdest places to visit here in Nevada? Travel Nevada has put out its first list of the state's seven weirdest wonders, including the Clown Motel in Tonopah and the Alien Research Center near Alamo. The point of the list is to try to get people to uh, see some of these rural attractions in Nevada uh, because uh, obviously Las Vegas and Reno are going to be uh, places that people are going to be more uh, able to frequent. But these rural sites are kind of off the beaten trail. You can see the full list at LVRJ.com. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing, Las Vegas saw its first 80-degree day of the year. It's not officially spring yet, but it sure does feel like it. Further south, temps in Nevada even climbed to the upper 80s. Looking ahead to tonight, you can enjoy temps in the 70s for a few more hours before it cools to the 60s, then 50s by the early morning. On Wednesday, expect a breezy day with a high of 79 and a low of 51 degrees. The winds at around 15 to 20 miles per hour should subside by Thursday. Fast forward to the weekend, clouds rolling with some breezes. In entertainment, sponsored by DiscoverNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada. A popular skating duo in Las Vegas is building an all-star production featuring all Ukrainian artists and acts. Review Journal's John Katsimidis has the details. 
A benefit show featuring Ukrainian artists is set for 9 p.m. March 31st at V Theatre at Miracle Mile Shops at Planet Hollywood. This is home to V the Ultimate Variety Show, which features the skating Aratas, Jenny and Victor Arata. Jenny Arata is from the Ukraine. She's from Kiev. Her sister has made it to Poland. But all of the money that is raised in this show will go toward Ukrainian relief efforts. Sports brought to you by Station Casino's STN Sports. Download the app today. A day before the start of the new league year, the Raiders have reportedly agreed to terms with cornerback Darius Phillips on a one-year contract. Phillips comes to Las Vegas from the Cincinnati Bengals, where he was mostly a special teams ace. In 12 games last season, the former fifth-round pick averaged 21.7 yards on eight kickoff returns and 7.1 yards on 25 punt returns. Phillips has five interceptions and 73 tackles in his four-year career. Sports betting sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Golden Knights opened the NHL season as consensus 5-1 to co-favorites at Las Vegas Sportsbooks with the Colorado Avalanche to win the Stanley Cup. But the Knights, who entered tonight's game at Winnipeg on a four-game losing streak, have skyrocketed to 30-1 to long shots at the Westgate Superbook. Vegas, which is 14-1 to to win the Western Conference, is the 13th pick to win the NHL title. The Avs are are the plus 350 favorites. In health, it's an end of an era. The state of Nevada will no longer report COVID numbers on a daily basis, but rather weekly as the numbers continue to go down. You may have also noticed certain metrics have disappeared. Now to lifestyle. Why are chicken wings getting so expensive? Experts say increased demand. Since the pandemic, more Americans are simply craving the once inexpensive snack. Memes on Facebook, like someone have a, re a receipt of their takeout pizza or a medium combo is $60.95. That's standard price, right? And next to it on the, in the receipt would be $60.95 for wings. And that's setting people off because that used to be eight, nine bucks, maybe ten. The co-owner of Sticks Tavern reports seeing wing prices soar, having to sell six wings at 10 bucks. The owner of Naked City Pizza says he's now breaking even selling 10 wings at $16.50. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you have a Roku device, just search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News, streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.